Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be doing another update on the bull market support band. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Remember to check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. We also do have a premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. You will get access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app, the trading view indicators, and more. So make sure you guys check it out. Now, Bitcoin, what I told you guys uh, a month or two ago, you know, the most bullish path that's realistic for Bitcoin was to go above the 20 week and then come back down and test it. And then now that that's happening, everyone's up in arms about what's going on. Well, remember, this is what needed to happen, right? In my opinion. Of course, my opinion is, is my opinion and I can be wrong, but ultimately testing the 20 week is, is very, very healthy if we can hold it, okay? Now, that's a big if. Um, if we don't hold it, then what do we do? You know, we kick the can down the road another few months. So if we if we don't hold it, then I would say we're gonna we're gonna we're going to get another lull in the market, um, and it and it might last another three months, right? I said three to six months. We already had three months before. If we if we don't hold it, then that's what I would speculate would happen. But at this point, we still have a solid chance to hold it. Now today. The 20 week SMA is coming in at a very modest 41.4K and the 21 week EMA is currently coming in at 43.3K or so. Now this will depend on the exchange you use, of course, but those are more or less the levels to watch. Those are the lines in the sand. From, from the current prices, Bitcoin is only about three or 4% above the 21 week EMA and it's about seven or 8% above the 20 week SMA. So we're less than 10% above both moving averages. If we go to, to some exchanges, we actually had a wick to the 20 week exactly, right? And we went exactly to the 20 week moving average. Now, ideally, ideally, I would hope that we can sort of hold the line up here uh, so that this can level out a little bit more and then maybe even start to, to trend back up and, and we can hold it like that and then, and then go up like that. Um, I, I don't think that testing the 20 week while it's going down is, is the best way to test it. If I'm being completely honest, like I, I'd prefer to see the 20 week going up while we test it. Uh, similar to what we saw over here, the 20 week was moving up, um, you know, similar to what we saw back in 2017, right? We were testing it as the 20 week was slightly moving up. Okay. That is what ideal, the ideal scenario is to test it while it's moving up not to test it while it's moving down, okay? Um, but anyways, I do think these are, are important levels to watch for Bitcoin over the next several weeks. I do anticipate that a test of the 20 week would be somewhat nail biting even if we hold it, okay? So even if we were able to hold it and we test it for one or two months, I would expect it to be a, a nail biting experience um, that would turn a few stomachs because even if we do hold it, there's a good chance we would have daily wicks below it. Um, in which case people might speculate that we're not going to hold it. As long as we end up holding it on the weekly time frame. The, the wicks are just noise and they don't really matter. Um, but again, those are the areas to watch. The, the 20 week SMA is actually just below the prior local top of January of 2021. Um, and, and the 21 week EMA is, is again, it's, it's a little bit higher, but, but only by, um, you know, only by a couple, a couple thousand dollars or so. So I would be looking, I'd be looking at the 41.4 K area as the, the line in the sand to hold this week in the event of a sustained dump. Now, the other moving average we'd like to talk about is the eight week and the eight week is, is one of the moving averages that we held during this leg, right? During this leg that we were on earlier in the cycle. Uh, we held it as support several different times. And then once we broke it, then we went down to test the 20 week. And now we have not broken it yet, even if it seems like we have, right? It might seem like we have. Well, on the weekly, we did not break it. It's just that when we opened the new week, which just started, we opened below it. But we again, we opened at the same price that we closed last week, which was above the eight week. Now we're opening below it just because the eight week SMA has moved higher. 
uh, because again, it's, it's just a moving average of the last eight weeks. So in order for us to close this week above the eight week moving average, we would need to close above 46.5 K or so. Again, this will depend on the exchange you use, but look for 46.5 K in that area as, as the region where we need to hold as support by the end of the week in order for us to put a weekly close in above the eight week moving average. If it doesn't look like that is going to, to play out, my friends, it's the line in the sand we've discussed forever. This is what will ultimately prevail, I think, in terms of helping us figure out, are we going to kick the can down the road and, and go through another lull like we did over the summer? Okay, everyone, most everyone watching has probably experienced this. They had the battle scars to prove it. If we don't hold it, okay, if we don't hold it, then don't be surprised to see something like that play out. Okay, that's what I'm, that's, that's the main point I'm trying to make. If we don't hold it, we'll probably see some type of repeat uh, scenario of what we saw before. It could even be worse, right? It could even be worse. We could have, we could have, it could be worse. Um, we don't really know, but what we do know is that when Bitcoin goes below the 20 week, altcoins tend to not do so well against Bitcoin, right? So, so remember that if Bitcoin goes below the 20 week, alts don't do that well against Bitcoin. If Bitcoin's testing the 20 week, it, it's a very iffy time where altcoins, they might not be necessarily dumping or anything, but they're probably not gonna be going parabolic for the most part against Bitcoin if Bitcoin's testing the 20 week. Like if Bitcoin goes down to say 41K or 42K, there's a really high probability that altcoins will, will not have the most confidence that you've seen uh, because a lot of them will sort of be on edge as to, okay, is it gonna hold? Is Bitcoin gonna hold? Is it not gonna hold? Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the bull market support band. This is the important test in which case we would like to see Bitcoin hold the line. The 20 week is ideally where the bulls will come out to hold the line. Uh, that's sort of the last level to hold because if, it, if we don't hold it, then again, we have a lot of other things to overcome in the short term. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below, or where you have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, click the bell icon to turn on notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye.